Next generation networking isn't as much about the hardware these days as it is the software, as 5G brings us new technologies like augmented reality. Roland is here to tell us more about that. Thank you for joining us. Hey, my pleasure, Mike. So when we look at this hardware, we're more thinking about the software behind it because of edge cloud. That's what's really powering next generation services. That's what really we are here about the Mobile World Congress, right? So at Mobile World Congress, we're we doing something which is fairly unique in the industry. Actually, we could actually say it's the first in the industry. So, so we are built something to control the network of the edge clouds. So what's special about the edge cloud? Because cloud, cloud seems all a bit like, uh, you know, it seems everything for everything and nothing at all. So the edge cloud is a location which is very distributed. So you have many, many edge clouds. It's like Belgium on a rainy day, you could say, right? So you have many, many clouds, and these clouds are really have a small footprint, right? So you cannot come with three, four servers to put there because, I mean, there is basically no room, right? So we as an industry first, we have extended Kubernetes, which is the operating system that those cool kids run on their servers. We extended it with a network view. So basically, we did a bit what uh, Google Maps did to Android, right? So we made the connectivity visible, and that's what we are launching here with our Edge Network Controller. We make the network visible to the applications. It's all about deterministic networking. It's definitely about deterministic, because if you're a service provider and if you want to sell services, you can only sell services for big money if the network is giving you the guarantees that your customers are needing, right? So if your customer is needing a very deterministic behavior with high bandwidth or low latency, and you're going to charge them big money for it, you better make sure the network can handle it, right? And that's exactly what those new boxes that you see here are all about. So they have our latest and greatest silicon, which just like the previous generation, and we are now the fifth generation, so just like the previous generation, it's really the deterministic uh, behavior that our customers come to like, right? And we provide more visibility than any other boxes. And this visibility, it's really about getting to know what your network is doing. Because if you're automating things and you're not sure what you're, what you're automating is doing, right? so you're just, you're just turning knobs, but you have no idea where the car is going, right? So you need to get that data to be able to sort, to, to be sure, to be, be precise, that if you turn a knob, it's actually doing what it's supposed to be doing. And that's what we built into this box. So technically they call it telemetry. So the telemetry data we send en masse to the AI and ML algorithms, and they do all kind of wonderful stuff with it. Well, that's the important part about this, because in addition to introducing edge cloud to 5G networking, we're also talking about controlling all of those knobs using a machine learning augment, uh, artificial intelligence-based system. That's exactly, so, and, it, and the thing is really, so you need to have this end-to-end -end control, because there's no point automating only the data center and the rest manually, right, that, that doesn't fly. So you need to be able to control it and automate it end-to-end. So we have introduced here at Mobile World Congress the Edge Network Controller, but we already had a controller in our wide area network, and we had the controller in our data center products. So now we basically link everything together. So all these algorithms, all these uh, orchestrators, like they call them, which are running on top of the network, can now do a really complete end-to-end -end seamless connectivity of all those servers and all those cool kids uh, services that are running around with their uh, AR, VR glasses. They can get the service that they want from the network, in fact. I was fascinated to learn that just a single port on this unit here is 800 gigabits. That's exactly, and that's, you pointed that out, that's another industry first. So this 800 gig on, on this type of card, of this type of boxes is an industry first, right? So this is definitely, hasn't been done before. So the full 800 gig is not available yet. So they're still within standardization working out on how exactly this is going to work. But we do have the eight times 100 gig. So eight times 100 gig in just single port it's a, it's, a, it's a city, Mike. This is, could be one city, could be one port, basically, right? More or less. So it, it's quite a big uh, an amount of capacity which goes into these boxes. So a single 48-port slot like this, you could power an entire country. You could power multiple countries with it, right? If it was just about performance of the box, you could power multiple countries with a single box, in fact. Right? Roland, thank you so much. My pleasure, Michael. Mobile World Congress 2022 continues. I'm Michael Hainsworth.